Welcome, Welcome to, to the Mother Daughter Ish podcast. podcast. It's your mama's favorite podcast. And the podcast your daughter always wanted. This is Miss Dawn. And Anjali. From the 713. Houston, y'all. Get connected and stay connected weekly as new shows debut on Sunday, Wednesday, and please check out our Saturday Out and About showcases. Enjoy the show. Please subscribe, like, share, comment, and tell every woman on the planet that you know about our show. Here's our show for today. Well, we do have to make a disclaimer. I'm pretty sure after we tell you what we did this Saturday, you're going to say, wow, they hang out on Bel Air Boulevard a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, guess what? We confess we do. <laughs> and the reason we do is because we still have not even explored 1% of it. We've only been to what? Two Hands, Fuji T. Um, other than H Mart. The T Place. I forgot the name of it. That other one. What, the, the what's the other T place? place with the gold? The gold. That's uh, what I'm saying. Things? I don't remember the name, but that was the fancy one. Yeah. They had their stuff in some. I would love to have at least two of those jars or whatever you call them, vases or whatever. Yeah. Vases. They're like little metal bins or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Today we're going to be talking about H Mart. If you have not explored Bel Air, then you are missing a treat. Mm-hmm. I know. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Some people don't like to go to certain sides of town because it's just not where they hang out at. Well, guess what? We hang out wherever we want to hang out, and we are just exploring our town. There's not a lot of getting around now with all the travel issues and stuff, so we are just exploring where we are, and it has been so much fun, right? Yeah, and there's another one in Cinco Ranch area if you live closer to that one. Have you seen Um, it? No, but I have coworkers that go there and shop to get their groceries there. Did they know we went to this one? No, I don't. I was just going to ask them if they thought it was the same. I'm sure it is. Um, I can only imagine Cinco Ranch is probably nice, too. I may have to take a field trip out there to just see because one thing I notice is that sometimes when they have a second location, they may not have the same stuff, depending on the size. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you, I've never seen a big store in Katy like that, so I'm going to have to check it out and just kind of go and spy a little bit. And um, maybe that's where you and what's it like? Kia can go and get the um, noodles. Yeah. Probably just on Bear though, because she wants to go to that Korean corn dog place. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So H Mart is a place. How did we find out about H Mart? I was telling you about it. I mean, like, how did you find out, though? Because I didn't know about H-Mart. I had a co-worker. Oh. Well, this one, and, this one is just the same size. It's so pretty it's big, big, too. Seco Ranch. Okay, yeah. what's the address of that one? Um, Like the street name. It's on Colonial Parkway. Okay, I know what that is. That's over by Lost and Terrica. Okay. I haven't seen it, and that's what I'm saying. That's why I got to go over there and just kind of check it out. And if it's the same you as that one. You can tell it's new, too. It, oh, it's that's big. pretty. That's nice. But H-Mart is at Bel Air. Um, mm-hmm. give them the address we'll pull it up in a minute but I know what I'm going to say is going to be absolutely strange but I'll accept the strangeness I'm okay with that word for some reason I've been there once right with you right so this time is the second, second time? time yeah for some reason the store inspires me and I think the reason it inspires me is because you can see food from Korea Mm -hmm. You can see food from Japan, which I've been to Japan. So the same inspiration I had when when me and your brother landed in Japan, we didn't actually land in Japan. We we went uh, Texas to Canada to Taipei, Mm. which I cannot wait to go and explore more of. We went to Taipei and uh, had a layover for a little while and then to Tokyo, Japan. Right. Mm. So the same feeling that I had in 2018 we went to japan is the same feeling that i had when i went to h mart first Mm -hmm. which i guess was back in the summertime yeah the same feeling i had when we went this time and again they've got food from korea in there they got food from china in there they have food from uh japan in there they have food from so many asian and chinese areas that i just for some reason it inspires me to just see it and i have one regret right now what? I regret I didn't get those Korean pancakes. Oh. And my reason is because they looked like they would be crispy. And I like a crispy pancake. 
Hmm. Like, I don't like a soft, floppy pancake. I like my edges to be crispy. Were they already made? They were already made where I think you put them in the toaster, and that's why I wanted to get them. Uh, and it only came with six in there, so it wouldn't be like if I bought them and I didn't like them, then I'd be throwing away a lot of money, because they were like $3 for mm-hmm. like six. I couldn't tell the real size, maybe the size of your hand or something. Oh, uh, okay. But that, I, I literally thought about that for three days later. I was like, <laughs> I regret that I didn't get the Korean pancakes. I regret, and I kept saying, you just got to go back and get them, but I was thinking, man, that's a long way to go over there, right? Mm-hmm. So tomorrow, I might just have to go to the one in um, Colonial Drive, just so that I could get... Because I really want to try the Korean pancakes. I just feel like because my mind was like, you need to try these. I feel like I'm going to like them. And I put honey on my pancakes and waffles and stuff. So I can't go too wrong. Even if they're bland, Mm -hmm. I can't go too wrong. The one in Katie looks like it's the same size, if not bigger. And um, it's bigger, it's better. It just looks newer. Mm -hmm. Uh, What's the address to the one on Bel Air we went to? Uh, 9896 Bel Air Boulevard, mm-hmm. Houston, Texas, 77036. You know, from the moment you walk in the door, you just got stuff in your way. Like, mm-hmm. you literally have to just, and we did something this time different that we didn't, didn't really do the last time. We walked up and down more aisles because mm-hmm. one thing we didn't do the first time, we didn't even explore that whole other side where the seafood mart is. Yeah. But I think we was exhausted by the time we got to the middle of the store the last time because we didn't go there to record or anything we went to be nosy and to buy Mm -hmm. some stuff maybe but this time we were like we're gonna be nosy we're gonna get into some things we're gonna look and you know check out people the other thing that that inspires me about the store and this might sound weird too but you don't have nobody looking at you like why are you in here oh yeah i have been and this is crazy but i have been to places that they give you the look like how you find out about this place Mm -hmm. why are you in here this is not you right Um, Can I help you with something? Why are you here? Same. I didn't see, and the store was crowded that day. Mm -hmm. And I check out people. Like, I check you out. Like, you, I'll be able to do a police report on you in two seconds. I'll tell them what kind of shoes you got on, what kind of shirt you had on. If your bra strap was out, I know the color. Whatever. I did not find anyone who cared that we were in that store videoing, that we were taking pictures. Nobody cared. And then when we asked one question about where something was, what was I looking for? The honey? Uh, the the honey, honey and the rice. And she didn't just tell us where the honey was. She said, come on, come on, come on, come on. And mm-hmm. she went and showed us where the rice was. She worked in the fish market. Yeah. She could have said, She I left can't. the whole... She left I mean, the whole... other people over there. <laughs> yeah, but... yeah, she left the whole area to say, uh-uh, come on, come on, come on. Let me show you, let me show you. Mm-hmm. And she went and pointed and said, it's here. And I was like, wow. But I have to also say that I've worked with a lot of Asian uh, people. I've worked with a lot of Chinese people, Japanese people, because of a program that I ran for 20-something years. And mm-hmm. I've always gotten along with pretty much every, you know, every group. Mm-hmm. I've not had, now, I won't say every group. Let me regroup that. But I will say that that particular group I've always gotten along with. I've always never, you know, not had a problem. Now, when you go to the hood, of course, and you go to the beauty supply place, back in the day, not now, I don't have that problem. But back in the day when you would walk into those beauty supply places, they would literally follow you around. Mm Mm-hmm. They would follow you around and never ask you if I could help you. Because what they was trying to do is to see if you were stealing. I remember one time I had that experience in my 20s. And I told this lady, I said, can I help you? And she said, no. And I said, why are you following me around the store? (laughs) And she didn't answer. I said, you know what? I don't think I want to spend my money here. Because if you saw me as the type of person that walked in your door to steal, Mm -hmm. when clearly I can buy anything I want to buy in this store, you got the wrong one. Now, when I get a little slick and I want to go back over there and I want to, because I want to go to Hank's because I'm all thirsty and everything, uh, they don't do that anymore. You know why? Because they got cameras everywhere now. Oh, every and they aisle. got they got a big 75 inch screen TV up there with your face on it. Because they got every And if you take something, they're going to take your picture and put your picture on the wall. Yeah. And then even put what you even right. stole. And then also be- now, what I love is they have the, uh, you know how they put the price on there? Under the price thing that they have has the security thing. Mm-hmm. So that's why when you know when you buy a little bar of soap and they run it across that thing and it goes beep. So they feel more secure. Now, see, back in the day, they didn't have this technology, but right? But you got to do that to every single item every in that store. Every single aisle. They have a camera down right now. So I'm good now. I'll go over there and say, okay, I'm going to go to Hank, so let me go over here. Mm -hmm. So I'm good now because if you're going to follow me around the store and you look at me, if you first of all just look at me and you would say, I think you're going to steal, we have no business doing business together (laughs) because that I'm not the one or the two. No, 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 no. But I never have felt like that walking into that H Mart, and I just have to say I'm thankful for that. But it is a reality, in case people don't know. It is a reality that when you go into other... Uh, 
locations that have nothing to do with your race or whatever, sometimes you get a look. Like, why are you here? Yeah. How did you find out about our secret over here? Never. Never felt like that. Another thing, what you think about their fruit? Because the colors on their fruit is just amazing. Reminds me of all the other different the foreign fruit, countries I've been to. Other than the fruit, the way they package it, like <sighs> like sealed tight. They, they call it seal, sealed tight. They call it airtight. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Airtight. That's what you mean to say. Airtight. Um, yeah. But their their watermelon was good. And you I've could tell the they personally fruit. wrap pack. They uh, wrap mm-hmm. pack. Pack rack. How do you say it? <laughs> What is it called? Because you can buy the machine, you know, and use it at home. Yeah, I know. They seal wrap their own stuff, you yeah. can tell. Mm-hmm. And that, I'm just like, that's very personable. I and like you can it, tell they sell a lot of stuff because it's the workers neat. were repacking, like, nonstop. Yeah, it's too neat. You don't ever run out of nothing. But their watermelon is, like, really, really red. I've had the mangoes. I've, I've eaten them so far. They're really good and sweet. The only other place I've ever in my life been to that the fruit was so vibrantly beautiful with seeds because I don't buy fruit without seeds because mm-hmm. you're supposed to have fruit with seeds. That was in Malaysia and in Japan. Nowhere else have I ever found fruit that was that beautiful. So I bet I could eat their pineapples depending on where they get them from because I can't <laughs> eat pineapples in the U.S. but I can eat them when I go to other countries. I don't know why. I think it's the ing- you know the way they grow the seed or whatever. Maybe I don't you might know. Have to find someone, the perfect person to ask that to. I no, to I already did when I went to uh, Malaysia. I ate pineapple every single day. Didn't no, eat I mean, one bit. Smart, like where they get it from. Oh well, they probably won't tell you that. But the <laughs> the the, uh, the uh, according to the FDA, the the have tag should be on there anyway. Okay. It should tell you where it came from. Because I'll never forget. I went into a grocery store and I saw garlic from. The garlic came from Vietnam, and I was like, why? We can grow garlic in Texas. What is this? Why? I wouldn't even buy it. I was scared. I said, why? Why we need Does garlic it look from different Vietnam? Or N- no. Why do we need garlic from <laughs> Vietnam? No problem. I don't have a problem with Vietnam. I'm just saying that's a little bit far. No, no. To get garlic. Unless it was a half a penny. Now, if it was a half a penny, I understand why they bought it. But no, ma'am. No, what the boy said? No, ma'am. <laughs> but um, I'll give you a little tip on how to navigate the store. Because if not, you're going to feel overwhelmed and you'll be turning around in circles. Because when you went down the noodle aisle, you act like you was just, you was lost in translation. It's like more than 70 brands. I thought I saw more. I saw at least 100. Mm -mm. So the best way I feel like you should navigate the store is when you first come into the store, you've got stuff left and right, like fruit and all this stuff. You got some packed up vegetables, candy, all that. I think the best thing to do is to just lean to the right. And work your way And just keep on walking to the right. Ignore every single thing that's over to your left because there's so much more other fruit and vegetables and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I say lean to the right and just keep going around like you're walking a yellow brick road. Just keep walking. Because what it's going to do is it's going to take you fruit. It's going to take you vegetable. It's going to take you specialty fruit that you've never seen in your life. Probably. And juices you don't really see. Juices and flavors you've never seen in your life. I got one that was some kind of Caribbean something, something, something from from the Caribbean. And it was amazing. Uh, The mango juice. I got the mango uh, pulp juice, which is amazing. Everything you get is going to be pure, 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 whatever. Mm -hmm. No extra ingredients, but the pure whatever. Uh, Like the grape juice that they had. And when I say grape, I don't mean purple. I mean like a green grape juice they had. I've promise you i feel like i drank a whole bottle of wine okay. the grape juice was so good keep hanging to the right until you get over to the juices because it's going to go from the vegetables and fruit they had the then, martinelli right and then go all the way to the end until you finish all liquids mm-hmm. then come back to the middle where you started in the beginning and look at all the fruit and vegetables potatoes the all of the things like that your garlic all of that right mm-hmm. then that way you know you've covered that area then if you're real smart, you'll go to the back and start from the end and go all the way up to the fish market because that'll cover all your different meats and stuff. Then go aisle to aisle. It's that it's that packed in there, yeah. And when you get aisle to aisle, when you get midway on the store, then you need to come up with a new plan because there's a whole other section that is unbelievable. Got because like a little if, cafe. <laughs> They got a bakery cafe beauty in there. Area. They have a uh, beauty store uh, and a pharmacy within the beauty store. They then, when you walk in, they also have like an arcade type of uh, room where you can buy trinkets and stuff. And then they have a, um, it's almost like going to a mall mm-hmm. that has also food, which is exactly how everything is kind of set up in Japan. Like yeah. you'll go into the grocery store, but there's also going to be a restaurant in there. There's also going to be a toy store. There's also going to be uh, a bakery. There, uh, 
I'm just saying, I love the concept because you could go there. Now, if they ever start selling clothes, <laughs> Walmart is done. Mm-hmm. They're done. Because that's all they were missing was clothes. And they could have had clothes in that little store. I didn't go in there, so I don't know. I was so focused on it's going to take us an hour or two to get through this store. Yeah. But when you get to the back, you need to have a different plan over to the left-hand side. Because over there is where all of your fresh food, like your seafood. and Because you said, there's a seafood market in here? And I'm like, uh, absolutely. Because, you know. And then you have your frozen food section. It was too much, right? Yeah, it really there was. There was so much stuff. I from, kept showing you stuff. He was like, just don't show me I know. I'm like, don't show me none of this. Because I literally wanted one of everything. Mm-hmm. Like, when I saw the Korean pancakes, I was like, <gasps> I saw the egg rolls. I was like, <gasps> I saw the... I was just like, I can't. And then you kept showing me all these wonderful juices. And uh, what I told you, don't show me nothing else. Because <laughs> I want one of everything. But then it kind of got good because some of the things that I wanted came six to a pack and I only wanted to try one. So mm-hmm. I, that kind of, you know, learned me a little bit of you need to, your eyes are bigger than what you're going to be able to finish all this stuff and you get it home. You don't want nothing to spoil because I don't like waste, being wasteful. Then you've got a whole backside wall that has all your beauty products, all of your facial stuff, you know, all of your rubbing, you know, uh, massage things. You've got towels and um just just a lot of stuff but i didn't feel like it was like this is garbage i felt like it was worth whatever you Mm -hmm. you want to go in there and get and i don't think it was a cultural thing i think it was just we're bringing you something different right here in houston you know yeah for sure but i am totally inspired with all of the culture i'm totally inspired with the way the store is set up I am so excited about the fruit. I bought some papaya and made papaya smoothies. And I feel like I just opened up a fresh papaya and just started digging into it. It was so fresh. What I did is I cut them up into chunks and I put some in the freezer to save for another smoothie day. But to eat them frozen like that, because I like my smoothies cold, cold, cold. Sometimes you'll get fresh juice and they'll give it to you hot. And I'm like, what is this? Because there's one place that I really like that's not far from here by Fiesta. <clears throat> they do all the fresh carrot juice and all that stuff, but they give it to you hot. And I'm like, do y'all not have ice? And she said, we don't use ice. We use it natural. Then they need to freeze the carrots because I, I don't like hot juice. Because hmm. you would have to drink it in five seconds to get the feeling. But I really like the place. I, I, I uh, If this one over here in Katy pans out to be exactly, exactly like that one, then that's going to be a new spot that I'll go to once a month just to kind of get, you know, some of the things up. You can buy your soap in there, your toothpaste in there. You can buy it either in the American brand or you can buy it in a different brand. Yeah, they have American brand stuff in there too. Yeah. Now, the only reason I didn't buy any of the toothpaste that was in the other brands because I can't read that writing. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know how to read Korean or Japanese or Chinese. I don't know how to read that, so I didn't know what it was saying. I'm sure there's a way to translate it some kind of way, but I didn't know. Um, you can buy all of your, you can buy medicine in there. Like I said, they had a whole pharmacy. So, now tell me your thoughts. I must have missed that. You did? It's where Pharmacy, I, like people can pick up their medication? Uh-huh, like right where I was trying to look for the fan, the handheld fan. That She was the, ph- the lady with the white coat on, she was the pharmacist. Hmm. Yeah, she was sitting down there doing some paperwork and stuff. And yeah, hmm. you can um, you can order your, your medicine and you can shop while they get your medicine ready. Yeah, I really like that they had that, uh, my Martinelli apple juice. <gasps> You know I ain't open mine. I'm saving I haven't for the either. weekend. I'm saving for tomorrow. Because I wanted it to be so cold. So I said, I'm going to put it down in the bottom part of the refrigerator. I was watching a Martin episode the other day at a friend's house. And I saw that Tommy was drinking the little Martinelli apple juice. I buy those. I was like, I didn't know they was. They come six to a pack of sprouts. Yeah, yeah. Those uh, two. Uh, I don't. I see and them I save the jars because then yeah. I put my rose water and stuff in the jars. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, That noodle aisle, my friend wanted me to get her some stuff. I was like, yeah. Let's talk just about this noodle aisle. Yeah, she you called her on the phone, right? Yeah, I, I was like, look, I'm, I'm going to show you what they have, but I don't know what type of noodles you like, what you like in your noodles, so you have to come yourself. She got overwhelmed. Yeah, she was like, I don't even know where to choose from. I don't, that's too much. Don't you think she should just get like 10 different kinds? Because it was too many then, to just say I'm going to get three. Even if then, I couldn't even do that. It was too many different brands. And then it's the type of noodles, they have them in the bowls or in the cup or the packs. And then they have, those type of noodles have like five different little sauce packets in them and stuff. Yes. They don't just have one like we see yes, in the, what is it, ramen? Like. Hey, they're not like that. They're not like ramen. No, yeah. not Some of them come ramen. with oil, spices, and right. sauces and all right. that kind of stuff. Right. And also what I've been told is that those noodles are more healthy than, mm-hmm. of course, like a ramen because they are actually the handmade noodles, kind of like yeah. when people make handmade pasta and stuff. I would but that they're hand, Right. I think, I've never had a ramen noodle in my entire life. I used to hate when y'all liked them when y'all were little. 
and just was like, why do these kids like these news? It's you wouldn't catch me, me eating that today. Exactly, mm-hmm. but I've never tasted them. So the closest I've ever come to any kind of noodle is when I eat the pho. Because mm. I, I sound like I just cussed. Time I wonder what type of noodles they use. I'll have to look that up. It's hand, they're handmade and pressed. Th- so you can buy a machine that yeah, I see those. creates uh, pasta for you and stuff. From so the they, they make the dough and mm-hmm. then they run it through the thing and let it dry. And it, that's how they do it. And Ooh. that's why pho is so good because the noodles that they have are so so real, so good. But I've never had a ramen, but I just know that it, it ain't right. <laughs> so for for some reason, I feel like they're not right. Something's wrong. But yeah, but their juices they have a really good um, variety to choose from. Like I mean, they had the Tropicana one, oh the Caribbean goodness. Paradise. You don't oh see that in goodness. no other stores. That was so. But good. even their Asian brands, uh, their sodas. <sighs> uh, I wish I remembered really that good. name of that that one in the yellow can that I wanted so bad. But it only came in a six pack, and then the oh. one that the one that we thought was chia seeds in the bottom ended up being kiwi and what? It ended up being basil seeds in the and the kiwi, juice, right? No, the no. juice was from. We thought it was kiwi because how the seeds look, mm-hmm. but it's basil seeds and the fruit was like a honeydew. I can't melon. wait. I can't wait. I'm gonna put it's it in the cold freezer in and let there. it get a little chill. So right now it's cold, but I want to look. It's kind of thick though. It's like uh, uh, like aloe vera. That's what scares yeah, me because if the consistency is not when I was right, shaking it like it just slow. Like oh, aloe vera. <laughs> now that right there freaks me out because I'm thinking maybe I should make a smoothie with it Probably. because I'm ri- like I don't want to take something that feels like slime going down. Exactly. Like I can't do that. <laughs> I will. <laughs> so I'm real funny with consistency Probably of put stuff. Put it in a smoothie then, because when I was shaking it, it was like slow, like right. yeah, moving. So I have three things that are my favorite about H Mart. What's your three things first? Um, I would definitely say their fruits. Yep. Um, the beauty area, even though I didn't get to, I looked through it, but I didn't buy nothing just yet. Yeah. But also, uh, the cafe areas also. We should have bought. We should have bought some, but I wasn't. I couldn't. I couldn't understand the they name of the stuff they were selling. And cakes and stuff I've never heard of. Right, but I, I couldn't read the name because it, yeah. it was in a different language, and I was like, I didn't want something that had like a something inside of it. You know, like yeah. I don't. I don't. I, I never don't even like jelly donuts like that. When I, Me either. I mean, even as a kid, I worked at a donuts though. And I just would not eat anything that was filled. And I watched him fill him with all the good, the homemade stuff he made. He was from um, Nigeria and he had all this good stuff. But I just was like, I don't want to bite into something that something oozes out of. I can't. Mm -mm. So that's what I was scared of. And I didn't know if we could ask like, okay, what's a plain donut, you know? Yeah. Their pastries and uh, cakes look good. Yeah, but I wonder if... But number one for sure was, ma- uh, the, not the mangoes, but just the fruit. Yeah, period. yeah. So I would say the thing that inspires me the most is pretty much everything, but <laughs> I like variety. Mm-hmm. It had a big, big, huge sense of variety. It wasn't like, oh, we only sell stuff from Korea. We only sell stuff from Japan. No, it was the whole diaspora of that whole entire culture that they sold stuff from. So that's my number one thing. But if I have to say my number two, I would have to say the inspiration of all of the beverages. Mm -hmm. Did we see a wine? I saw wine. I did. I did. They had uh, American brands too. Yep. 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 I saw some real pretty bottles. I'm kind of more on the pretty bottle than what's inside, but I was inspired by the beverage, just the big, big, big variety of beverages and waters and just everything. And then if I had to say number three, I would just have to say the way I felt welcomed. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I felt like anybody could go to the store and it would be no big deal. I felt very welcomed in there. I didn't feel like I was in the wrong place. Because you can be in a store and you feel like I'm not supposed to be in here too. Oh, and yeah. and that's according to how the people make you feel when you're in the store. That store was packed that day and nobody cared that we were there. Nope. Nobody cared, and I don't know. You might know something different, but I didn't see anybody else that looked like us. I did when we was checking out. Okay, how many? Um, I really wasn't paying attention, but I saw two. But that's what I'm saying. You didn't even care to pay attention, right? Yeah. Because no. it didn't even matter. No. Right. So that was what I'm saying. That's the inspiration of it all. I mean, you can go into some of our regular American stores and people look at you stupid, but you just feel like you go in there, you mind your business, you buy what you're gonna buy, you get out. But I promise you it ain't going to be that fast when you go for the first time. Because your first time, here's what I'm going to give you a tip before we leave you here. The first time you go, go to look. Maybe buy one or two things because you don't know what you're doing. (laughs) But go to look the first time like what we Mm -hmm. did. Yep. Then you get your list together of, oh my goodness, I saw this, 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 this. I'm going back. 
then go back with a vengeance and then fill up your basket and buy whatever it is that you want to buy because i promise you if you go on the first time and you think you're gonna buy everything you will be so overwhelmed because see the way the store is set up is that no matter where you look there's something oh yeah and so the way it's set up is it's kind of like a maze where you're just supposed to go around but i think you need to go with a plan you hit that right first you go all the way around the right, then come back to the middle part and finish all the fruit and vegetables. Then you hit that back and look at all the meat. Then you come back and go aisle to aisle to aisle to aisle. Then when you get over there to the left where the seafood is, you need a new plan. Yeah, it says imported frozen packaged chicken. foods. What is it called? No, I was just looking. It says they have a chain supplying imported packaged mm-hmm. foods. Coming from everywhere, I bet. But I tell you something. I noticed that a lot of these other stores are having an issue with supplies. Mm-hmm. I bet you H-Mart ain't. Oh, no. Because I didn't see no aisles empty. I've been in two grocery stores in the last month, and some of the aisles were, the the things was empty, and it wasn't because we had a storm coming or hurricane. No, 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 no. I'm talking about on a regular Tuesday. Did you see any chicken or beef there? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. On the back wall was all the meat, the the beef, the chicken, the packaged, everything was on the back wall. Um, The, the steak, um, I saw ribs. All that was on the back wall. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, back, back, the back, back. Right, we, we wasn't, yeah, so. And then all the frozen shrimp fish all that stuff was in the little cabin yeah. but they had everything they had they even had the korean core dogs too i yeah. got my friend packaged pre-packed, yeah pre-packaged already. yeah um and i don't know the brand name because again on a lot of the stuff I, you can't tell the brand name um which i didn't even care they had so many different varieties they had octopus mm. they had artichokes by the pounds and pounds and pounds they had everything you could do to make a fish soup or whatever it is that you're making but um, if you read the labels and everything, you can also tell where all of the food and things came from. And it's from all over the globe. And I just, I found it interesting. I found it very, very interesting. Back in the fish area, it didn't smell like fish. No. I don't like a fishy smell. I, I won't go near it. Yeah, I won't go near it. And, and if I buy any fish and I bring it home and it smells fishy, I'm not cooking it. Yeah. Um. So I always like to, you know, smell fresh food. You know, kind of like when I go to Sprouts, I like to buy my seafood from there because it ain't fishy. And it don't smell funky. And I don't like that. Um, the other thing that was awesome about there, it was well lit. It's like oh, the yeah. store was very bright. It wasn't yeah. like, you know how you go in some of these stores and like, I'm not going to say the name of the store, but I was in the store one day and they turned the lights down. And I was like, what, what's happening? They turned the lights down. The girls say every day at two o'clock, they shut the lights down in areas and make it dark in the store because they're trying to save on energy i'm gonna need you to do that on the days when i don't come in because when the lights go down i'm trying to make a plan like what i need to do what's gonna jump off and i'm talking about the lights went down so significantly that it got dark in the store and then they don't use this particular same store they don't use their air like they used to like the employees are at the register sweating so much that they gave them chairs to sit in Mm -hmm. so they don't pass out (laughs) This is ridiculous for a big store, though. So I'm just like, first of all, I'm not going to come in your store and sweat. And second of all, I need it to be bright enough for me to see what's going on. Yeah. What, what y'all turn the lights down for? What, what, what are y'all trying to hide? <laughs> like, what's going on? Yeah. So I just think that's weird. And I get conserving energy. Don't get me wrong. I understand that. But if you're a store that stays open late, 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 you need to do that after 7 or 8 or something. But don't be turning the lights off at 2 o'clock in the evening, in the in the midday. So... We hope that you get a chance to go to H Mart again. There's the location on Bel Air. And if you're out on the west side of Houston, there's the one in Katy, which I cannot wait to probably check it out this weekend. Just to, I think I'm going to go get those Korean pancakes because my mind just tells me I need those in my life for some reason. And I'm not even an everyday pancake eater. I'm a once a month pancake eater. So, you know, I'm if I like them. Huh? I'm not even that. Yeah, yeah. Now, if I wanted to, I could eat a Belgian waffle once a week. But because I'm not into it like that. I, but you know, now they have the mini Belgian waffles, right? I don't care what stuff with syrup on it. I really don't. I don't use syrup anymore. I like honey. Not even that. Oh, you don't? Well, if you get fancy, you can take a Belgian waffle. You can put something in the middle of it and make a sandwich. Well, you know, I've been to Belgium, so I've had their waffles. Oh, my gosh. Did you just throw the your <laughs> card at me? Well, I've had you are the so chocolate fancy. and the actual Well, don't waffle. tell me because I told you when you went on that European <laughs> trip, what did I say? Bring me back. Some chocolate. And I don't even eat chocolate like that. But I was like, bring me some Belgian chocolate and I can just save it for life just to show people I have chocolate all the way save from across the life. pond. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But did you it bring me anything back? No, you did not. I mean, and I was like, you need to go back and come back again. I definitely have to now that I'm older. I what did you eat when you were in Belgium, by the way? 
um, stuff I couldn't pronounce, but we definitely had the waffles. We, we was It was literally like a day trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. everywhere, most places we went to like that was driving distance. Like uh, yeah, Germany yeah. was 20 minutes from Paris. Yeah. And that's what you want to do when you go to places like when me and your brother went to uh, Tokyo, Japan. Mm-hmm. We didn't just stay in Tokyo. We got on the train and made a concerted effort every single day to get over to, you know, uh, uh, Tokyo Disney was in a whole nother area. We went mm-hmm. to Osaka. We went to Kiyosaki. Your brother knew all that stuff, of course. I just was like, give me the list of where we're going and I'll research it and find out everything we're supposed to do, where we're supposed to walking in the streets and all this. And there was this one little famous area where people get confused on how to cross the street and it's chaos. So we literally had to go to the corner of that street and I had to video. And it's literally like when the light changes, people don't know. It's like they don't know what to do. Why? But everybody who goes to Japan takes a picture of that. So as soon as the light changed and someone was like, he didn't get it. I said, you don't have to get it. I get it. I, my camera went live and I recorded and everybody loves that video. They just go crazy when the light changes. They don't know how to cross the street. And this particular corner is very popular for that. <laughs> I don't know. I got it on video. So, hmm. But anyway, we are hoping that you are looking and saying, man, I want to go there. Or, Gosh, I got to do that. Or let me go check this out. And again, you can find so many new things. I know for me, I've been on a journey for the last three or four years of just finding new things to eat because I'm getting very bored. You know, I got very bored with eating the same old, same old, same old. Mm-hmm. Now, don't get me wrong. I can eat fish every Friday for life. Okay. So I'm not going to get bored with that. But I do get bored. I got bored with having the same things. And then once you kind of remove certain meats and things out of your life, you got to then find new ways to eat, right? Mm -hmm. So when I go to a new store that I see they've got some some new things and it's right in line with the things I don't want, but it's giving me what I do want, I'm going to try it out. Yeah. So our next stop is we got to go to some other different types of variety stores. I call it like a variety store because it has a different variety of things, but... We got to go check some more of those things out. So we really hope that you look at this and you say, man, I got to go get over there and check it out. Again, go to H Mart with a plan of I'm just going to look this time. I'll go shop the next time. Because if not, I promise, I promise, I promise you're going to be overwhelmed. It's just too much. We're talking about a huge grocery store that compares to like nothing. I'm talking about size. <laughs> what would it Size to? wise, um, a Walmart? Not a Walmart. A I'd say a Kroger. You think it's... I think Kroger's is small. But our Kroger's is smaller than that. Maybe an H-E-B. A super H-E-B? Like that one on Tuckerton? Yeah. Yeah, the big one. The big H-E-B. Or maybe the size the of middle. Sprouts, maybe? No, Sprouts is a very small store. Sprouts, Sprouts oh, yeah, is, is small. very yeah, yeah, yeah. small compared. It's big like a... I'm going to say... I'm going to say like a super Walmart or a super Target. Like the neighborhood ones? No, 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 no. The super stores. The neighborhood stores are the, the small one ones that are food. like Sprouts. Oh, But yeah. I'm talking about something really, really big. I'm a, you know what? Could we say like a Sam's Warehouse? I'm trying to remember the last time I was in one. Costco. You been in a Costco? Uh, I don't think I've ever been in Costco. So it's like a warehouse store. And a lot of the things, think about this too. If you're going to buy rice... You're not finna get a small pack of rice. You're getting a sack <laughs> of rice. So that's why it puts me in sack. the mind of a warehouse. Yeah. Except you don't need a membership to shop. But there. even the watermelon I got for six dollars, that's gonna I don't know how long that's gonna last me. I've been eating it every day. It's but gonna last you for a month. You, you're gonna you have something? to start sharing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean I could I could share that. Yeah. But um everything you get is not like it's it's enough. So now, you what you can do is everything. you can pack them up in Ziploc bags and you can put it in the freezer now. Yeah. And then that way to preserve it long. Because I'll tell you something about watermelon. It starts to sweat in the refrigerator and the smell changes. And mm-hmm. then it smells spoiled. Mm-hmm. So that's why when I borrow water, watermelon, I have to eat it up. And if I know I'm not going to eat it this week because I don't feel like eating it, then I'll make a smoothie out of it. Or I'll, I'll juice it. I'll fresh press it. Next time, I'm going to get the sliced one like you had. Instead I, of remember the... I told you? I said... I me, between me and your brother, we not gonna be able to finish this before it spoils in the refrigerator. So, you know, I said I'm not, I can't get this one. I said I need a small one. Yeah. And so right now he sliced it in half, and now I'm gonna turn mine into some fresh pressed juice because mm-hmm. I don't feel like eating the watermelon, but I will drink the watermelon juice. Yeah. So I already knew the deal because I'm the person that every time when the watermelon comes out fresh in the store, I used to go and buy a little one, and it will waste, and I don't like being wasteful. And your sister, she won't eat the watermelon. So it's just between me and him. Yeah. And he's like, I got to be in the mood to eat it. And I'm like, what? <laughs> he's got to be in the mood to eat it. Obviously, he was in the mood this week, I guess. But check out H Mart on Bel Air. That's in where, according to Houston statistics, they call that Chinatown area. 
and um, Bel Air has so much more to offer other than H Mart there's a lot of tea shops over there there's the corn dog two hands over there there's the Fuji tea that's over there there's the uh, so many tea shops over there and they all have something special that they're offering there's so many bakeries and herbal shops and spice markets and what you're going to get with your spice markets and herbal markets you're going to get it from those countries though mm -hmm. like the, the one we went to the last time Grinnell that one a lot of their spices and everything came from Mexico or different areas of Mexico if you read the labels and stuff like yeah. the chili peppers and all that stuff is different places in Mexico and then some other imported stuff but over there they're very true to their diaspora of people so um, I love that I love that I love that anything else about H Mart for you um, I liked how they had the Brussels sprouts just out uh, in that yeah, little, yeah, yeah. I don't know what you call that. Um, it was like some type of barrel, but I've never yeah. tried them or touched them. So, like, you can touch them and they literally yeah, were like little baby Which is why I would cabbage. never buy them sitting out there. I only buy mine already packaged. I would definitely Because you know people vinegar. are touching them, right? Yeah. And I'd that freaks me some... out to think. But you yeah. can also put it in vinegar and that'll get rid of all of the, mm -hmm. you know, like when I uh, wash certain things, I wash it in vinegar. But yeah, so I right. didn't hear you say what's the one thing you regret you didn't get. Is there any one thing? I know what it is. Mainly just going... More juice. <laughs> uh, probably that. I should have yeah. definitely got more mangoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you only got two, huh? I got three. Oh, and I only got one. So, you I know, I'm going to be, like, left. thirsty for some. Yeah. So I'm, uh, like I said, I'm going to go out there this uh, weekend and check out the one in Katy and just see if it inspires me. So, I'm sure it will. But just to make sure it's as big and I'm going to get those Korean pancakes and probably maybe two more mangoes or something. But Yeah, the one we went to looks like a little older version. The one Katie looks newer, like they just built it. Well, that it one on Bel Air probably year. been there for more than twenty years, and we just oh, didn't yeah. know about it because everything over there in Bel Air, like two hands, might be new, but none of that other stuff is new. They've been pop look Chinatown been popping. It's been going on over there. Um, and in case you want to explore even a little more in that area, Harwin's over there. That's in the year. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, but when I was a kid, I don't know if other people do this, but when I was a kid and we'd go shopping with my mom on the weekends, we would start on one end of Harwin and work our way to the other end of Harwin and then come up on the other side because it's just, it's too much. That's actually a whole entire day field trip, just Harwin alone. Yeah. And, and, and wear comfortable shoes and comfortable clothes because you're going to be in and out, in and out the car. Because you're going to park in one area and you're going to walk and probably see 20 stores. Then you're going to drive out. But you've got to be comfortable and ready. And look, put your fanny pack on. Don't be shamed. Was I shamed when I wore mine in Trader's Village? <laughs> no. no, I was not. Put your fanny pack on. That way your phone can fit in there. Your keys can fit in there. Your cash money. Take cash money to these places. There ain't nobody got time to be getting those extra charges for credit cards. And now they pass the charge on to you. So don't use your credit card in most of these places because they'll sell you, oh, if you're paying cash, it's this price. If you're paying credit, it's an extra $5 or whatever. Like when we were at the Crystal Shop, he charged us an extra something for using the credit card. Like but we already knew. Yeah, because, yeah. Yeah, we already knew when he said, oh, if you pay with credit card. We already knew it's going to be an extra $2 or something. Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to give you put, you put you on some little game about the way you spend your money because I know a lot of people, including the person I'm sitting next to, <laughs> can just not stand cash. And I'm just like, I like to be one and done. Anything else about H Mart? No, I think next time, I, before I even look or touch anything, I need to do the cafe area and just see and try one thing that they have. You think the one out here got the cafe? Yeah, they do. It looks bigger, actually, than mm. the one we went to. Fool like, around. it's an actual sitting area, like more of a sitting area. Yeah. Fool around and find something you just really like, though. Yeah. Now, something I will say about their juices is that they, they I don't know what they're... I don't know what they're sugaring it with, <laughs> but their juices are sweet, though, huh? Yeah, that grape they're, juice. They, but I think the grapefruit was the real deal. Again, I feel like they took some grapes that. and pressed them. Because when I've bought uh, seedless grapes and I have fresh pressed them and blended them up and made fresh juice, it's the real deal. Mm. So I don't know. I, I don't know. Again, I mean, I can't read the ingredients, so I don't, I don't even know. But I really like the place. I'm going to go back again and again and again and... We're so glad that we're able to share this location with you. Not just the location, but the store as a whole. I don't know, you know, who created the store and who the founders and any of that is. But I will find out and share that with you, too. And we'll put the address up for you as well. But we just want to share it with you and continue to check us out on Saturdays on our, we're calling it our out and about time. And we've got so many more exciting places to bring to you. So much more fun and and just entertainment so that you can know what's going on. But I think my number one reason for loving the Saturday shows is because people that are not in Houston, they always ask, what's to do in Houston? 
Well, we're, we're telling you right now what you can do if you want to come to Houston. It's all, it's more than about eating. It's more than about um, what else people do. Go to the Galleria. It's more than about that. We have so many little nuggets. You know, we have so many art walls, and you can take a lot. You can get a lot of photos done in Houston because of the art walls that we have, and the locations, and the buildings, and all of that. We have so much of that to bring to you that we've already got it on the list, right? Yep. And this is not something we think of at the last minute. No, we have enough locations to bring to you for the next year or so because we already pre-planned before we even started this podcast. We had a list, right? Mm-hmm. Like the list you put together, we had how many locations? Probably like fifty plus. Exactly. And then we've added even more to that that as we keep discovering. You know, we've got a train ride that we're going to do in 2022. We've got the, like I said, the the, the other Easter Island, the Texas Easter Island thing that we want to go to. Some things in Austin in the Hill Country to do. More in Houston, of course, that we want to do. But we're glad that we can share it with you. And we hope that uh, you give us a comment. Comment down in our comment box and let us know of other places that you want us to check out or that you think are really really cool that we should go and see and share that with people as well especially if you're from houston and you know there's little things that we don't know about let us know about those things right yes yeah, so make sure you subscribe to our channel like our content as well as comment on there and share turn your notifications on just so you'll know every saturday adventures we have in our wednesday and sunday shows mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and until next time bye for now bye Thank you.